There's a few things I want to tell you about. Don't leak that, don't leak that. Hello there, hi everyone, happy new year. It's so nice to see you. I know um, one of you commented, where did I go <laughs> in 2020? Well, uh, there's a few things I wanna tell you about, um, but I've got this parcel today and inside it is something that I'm hoping is gonna help me make way more videos this year. I think I just knocked the camera. I'm gonna be less enthusiastic with this package. <laughs> it is an embroidery hoop stand size adjustable round embroidery frame hoop stand natural wood cross stitch embroidery stands for handwork cross stitch holder for diy craft yeah let's open it up and see what the quality is like when i filmed my last project definitely had some challenges keeping the hoop straight and still filming embroidery is actually quite tricky one because it takes a long time so that project took something crazy like 40 hours <laughs> I'm gonna need to get some scissors. 2020 was... <laughs> Who can say the road goes? We moved into this house. It's a granny flat. Ooh. I've also been uh, working from home. It's kind of hard for me to like leave all my kit around, just leave like my stuff on the table and my camera gear set up because I'm also trying to do my day job, daily work in that space. I just need to come up with a solution. Hopefully this stand is gonna make a difference. I think this might be more intended for putting on your lap, just like putting under your leg and sewing in your lap. I'm hoping if I set it up on the table, just put a weight. Ah, I'm moving the camera, sorry. Just put a weight here. That should be a lot better than holding it and moving it up and down a lot. Oh, really high. It's pretty high. Okay, I think this one. When using a thickened embroidery hoop, fix the other screw port on the clip with a screw to make the upper and lower clips firm. That is quite thick, actually. I don't know. Back with a thinner, thinner hoop, much thinner hoop. Now tighten this one. Okay. Now I can turn it. And so you can work here. And then you can be just sitting over my shoulder. Yeah, this is going to work, I think. As long as my hoops are not too thick. Okay, I think that's going to work. There's just two more things I wanted to tell you about, big things that happened in 2020. <laughs> Which has been keeping my mind very busy and my heart very full. First thing is, did that knock you too much? Probably did. It's Shelby. We got a puppy. She's just under the table here. I'll lift her up. Shelby. 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 Speak up. So she's nine months old. She is a Shetland sheepdog. Don't leak that. Don't leak that. Good girl. She's just the best thing ever. We've been teaching her tricks. She knows her commands. She's been to puppy preschool and she's made a lot of appearances on my working Zooms. How about you? Yeah. And then as if it couldn't get any better than that. <laughs> I got engaged. <laughs> I got engaged, you guys. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yay. <laughs> I 
Um, so yeah, some big things coming up in 2021. We're hoping to have our wedding in November. So there is gonna be some wedding content coming up. You've been warned. Before we do that, I really want to make these mini tutorials for you to show you some of the stitches I was talking about in the first project. Let's go to the office and test this guy out. See if it's going to work. <laughs> Three days later. Here we are in the office. It's now a few days later. So I've had uh, quite a bit of time to test out the embroidery stand and it's a game changer. Just holding the hoop perfectly still it's not going to be moving around when I'm filming. It's going to make shooting and editing so much easier. Yeah, thumbs up, would recommend. If you were using it in your lap, I can't really speak to that, <laughs> but on the tabletop for filming, good job, that stand. Here is my office setup, and here is the new stand which is going so well. <laughs> and this is where I mount the camera, just on top of the tripod, here. I've been filming a number of the mini tutorials that I was talking about. I've just got one left to shoot. Those will be going up on my channel very soon. And then we can move on to some new bigger projects. So if you'd like to see some more, uh, please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a like. If you got any questions or any thoughts, just comment down below. All right. See you guys. See you next time. Bye.